All right, <clears throat> welcome back. So, last time, uh, last time I saw everybody, I was working on the golf cart, got the golf cart figured out, um, and then I said I'd make a separate video on mounting this winch and um, finishing the basket. I thought maybe I'd do a stereo on this, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that and just use a Bluetooth speaker for now. Um, I don't know, I just don't feel like doing the work. And uh, in all honesty, I love this cart. It's a great cart. Um, take it around and show you a little bit about it. Um, Cause I don't think I did that last time, but like I said, it's an easy go ST480, uh, which means um, it's got a little bit bigger engine in it. It's got the Vanguard 16 horsepower overhead valve, each one. Um, these easy go workhorses have um, electric over hydraulic dump bed. They have um, locking rear differential. I don't think they all have that. The ST350, I don't believe it has the locking diff. Um, Ford reverse, obviously. Uh, parking brake, handbrake. Um, I've had this thing filled up with a lot of wood. Um, probably. I really don't know how much I've had in it, but it had to have been, you know, six, seven, maybe 800 pounds. And uh, it definitely sags the springs a little bit, but um, it handles it no problem. And the dump bed lifts it no problem. Um, got the tailgate that you can fold all the way down, or if you have the cables on, it'll. Um, just open straight back. So it's it's nice around here. Um, you know, I got a pretty good deal on it. So it doesn't really owe me anything. Um, I'm sure I can sell it for more than what I got it for, but um, I'd wanna get into a side-by-side -side or something if I was gonna sell it. It is really handy around here for hanging tree stands, going and getting deer. Um, you know, whatever, firewood, uh, yard work, picking stuff up around out of the yard. So I really do like the, like the cart, but um, I think overall a side-by-side -side would be a little bit more practical. Um, you can have a little bit more fun on, on a side-by-side, -side, obviously. So I might end up selling this. So I figure for the winch, I'm gonna make this kind of, um, very easy to remove, put on something else. This has two inch receiver on it. Um, so I got this, I had this old receiver. Um, it was already cut, I don't remember what I cut it for. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use that, build off of this. Um, I got this solid piece here. I was gonna do something like that. I'm gonna cut it here and then weld that piece I just cut off 90 degrees out this way and then I'm gonna mount the winch onto it. Um, I'm probably gonna cut this plate here and the fair lead I'll re-weld on at a 90 degrees angle. So this will be this will be um, horizontal here. The winch would sit about like that under the front bumper here. Um, and then I gotta finish the basket, wire in the winch. The basket, I, I found out I'm actually quite a bit closer to being done than what I had uh, originally thought. I guess I've got everything just about welded. I got a couple ends here. I got a um, cap. Uh, I gotta clean up all the welds. This was my very first welding project when I got the the Miller Matic over there, so, um, welds, they actually weren't that bad, I was fairly happy with them for, for how green I was at welding, but, uh, definitely want to clean them up a little bit, and then I'm going to take them over to my buddy Jack, he does some powder coating, um, and sandblasting, I'll probably just have him sandblast it, and then I'll paint it with, um, some Rust-Oleum, just the black enamel 
um, oil-based stuff. That seems to work pretty good. So um, I guess let's get started on mounting the winch. So here's about what it's going to look like. Um, I'm going to cut a gusset for this front piece here. Um, I'm going to cut a gusset, I think, on each side. But this is all going to get welded up here. I got everything cleaned up. This will slide into, I mean, this whole thing will flip up upside down basically, slide into there, and the winch will mount to this plate here. So what happened was the the top um, frame wasn't exactly the same size as the bottom frame. When I built it, uh, I don't know, that's just how it ended up. I cut all the pieces the same size, but the front actually sits in a little from the bottom. So when I rounded that corner, um, the piece of expanded metal wanted to stray off towards the bottom on both sides after I came around that corner. So took a little finagling, but I got it. Got it all tacked on. Um, gonna probably tack it in a few more spots. Clean everything up. I just got this back from, I don't know if you can see it or not, uh, my buddy Jack. He sandblasted it. And I was gonna just hit it with brush Rust-Oleum, but he, um, he said, you know, let me powder coat it'll turn out nice and uh, I just told him go ahead and do it and it did it turned out awesome way better than if I had brushed it um, a lot smoother finish uh, nice gloss black and it looks really really good so um, I'm gonna mount that fix my tie rod straighten that out um, I got a battery and uh, um, it's basically a reman battery or a refurbished battery. It was like 50 bucks, so that wasn't terrible. And I got the winch mount back, so I don't know. I keep going back and forth on if I want to mount the winch or not. I might just hold on to it for now. Because um, I don't know. I've been going back and forth about selling this and getting like a Polaris General or something like that, so... I might not go through the trouble of mounting the winch right now. So the basket is custom built just for this. So I might as well throw that on there. And if I'm out doing firewood, that's really handy. Um, or if I end up keeping it, you know, it'd be nice to have it on anyway. So let's do that. This can be a real pain. Um, especially by yourself. So I'm hoping... Mount one side um, 
because it basically mounts in between the, the cart and this brush guard um, that square tubing does. So if I can get one side mounted and then loosen the bolts, you know, start these bolts, loosen the other ones and slide it in, it's probably going to be my best bet doing it by myself. So I'm going to give that a shot. All right, I got the bottom two bolts in on both sides. I just got to kind of flip it forward and get the brush card lined up and finish it off. So there it is. I took some finagling. That's a pain doing that by yourself. But I'm really happy with that. Right, look at that. That's nice. Lots of room still. Put a couple chains or something in there, some straps. And then you still got the full bed for firewood or ducks or whatever. But yeah, that's nice. So I guess the only thing left to do is um, bend that tie rod back out and then we can take it for a rip and uh, maybe cut a little firewood and she'll be back in action. So Got the tie rod fixed by uh, ordering one off Amazon. I messed these boots up um, on the tie rod ends there. So I figured that one wasn't that great anyway. So anyway, I just figured uh, get a new one. So I'll throw that on and we'll go for a ride. So there's the winch mount. Um, I never showed you that when I got it back, but that's how it would mount. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to take the time to mount the winch up or not. We'll see if I hold on to the card or not. But it turned out pretty good. Looks nice with the powder coat. Fits right up. Uh, winch tucks right up under that brush guard real nice. So it gets it up off out of the way. And um, if I do end up mounting it, I'll make a video wiring it all in and everything. Show you how it turns out. Pretty nice day out. Out here checking trail cameras. Um, cart goes pretty good in this snow. I got it locked out. Rear dip. <clears throat> um, especially if you've already packed a trail, it really cruises right along. take that saw out of there before I go check the rest of the camera it's just because it's sliding around a lot I had to put a bungee around it or something just to keep it from banging the blade and everything against the basket there dinging my chain all up a bunch more last time I checked trail cameras about half of my bucks were still holding their antlers um, it's February the 16th today and uh, they should start all losing them here pretty quick if they haven't already so I'm hoping to get a bunch of pictures of bucks that have just shed here recently and then uh, I'll start looking for shed antlers. I found two when I was in Arizona, so I met two already this year. Little 
Spicy. It's like a whoop section through there. Need to plow that up and disc it out and replant it because I think before I bought the place somebody must have plowed it up and then never did anything with it and just let it grow back up. But like I said, with all the acorns in the woods this year, the woods are just getting tore up still. Even in the snow, they're just digging right through it and finding the acorns, so. Kind of a tough year for food plot. For food plot, guys. But you'll have that. the way I came because I don't feel like getting stuck. Plus this trail's more fun over here anyway. no different than like a John Deere Gator or something with the locking diff that it's got so it's not real surprising that it goes all right it's got some nice tires on it a decent little lift so good ground clearance 